This episode is sponsored in part by Lucky Duck Games. Their late pledge manager is still available for a few more weeks for Chronicles of Crime Millennium. Check it out at GameFound.com. Thank you for joining me today at Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. Today I'll be looking at board games launching the first half of July on Kickstarter. We're going to be looking at over 25 games. It's quite a lot for the middle of the summer. quick, I mentioned Motorsport on my last video. They're actually launching tomorrow, June 26th. This is a competitive deck building game that captures the automotive tuning culture. Check it out. A game for one to four players that takes about 25 to 60 minutes to play. These first few launch on July 1st. Mystic Monkeys is a game for two players. Takes about 20 minutes to play. Rival monkey clans compete to claim dominion of the jungle. Tower Games launches Towers and Turrets. With 50 block cards, 6 defense cards, 11 attack cards, natural disasters, fortune cards and embellishments, lots of turrets. Trying to earn points by building towers, the taller the tower, the higher the points. Steve Jackson Games launches GURPS, which stands for Generic Universal Role Playing System. On July 2nd, Vesuvius Media launches Catapult Kingdoms, a game for 2 to 4 players. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play. This game is about the last person standing. Your objective is to knock down all your opponent's troops, and build your battlements, set up your troops, load your catapults, and use your cunning tactics to win the day. Also on July 2nd, we'll see Rallyman Dirt. This is an expansion for Rallyman, a game for 1 to 4 players. It takes about 45 minutes to play. You need the base game to play and adds terrain to the game. This game is characterized by sliding, double down, shifting, track sweeping, river crossings, and new tire choices. On July 4th, Pebble Works launches Who Are the Legends, a quick playing card game where kids learn while having fun for two to four players. It takes about 25 to 45 minutes to play. You'll learn about history's greatest scientists, artists, leaders, and other historical figures. On July 5th, SC Games launches Knight of North Round. This is for two to six players. Each player chooses a card from five to play at the same time. The loser loses gems depending on how much damage is dealt. It takes the concept of rocks, paper, scissors, but it changes it to swords, shields, and arrows. Once the duel is over, all knights redraw back up to five cards. The game continues until one knight is left. These next few launch on July 7th. Surrealist Dinner Party, game for two to four players, it takes about 35 to 50 minutes to play. Trying to keep your guests happy by serving the food they desire, managing drama between them, and sending them home at the right time. Mind Clash Games launches Perseverance, Castaway Chronicles, discover a living dinosaur world in a series of mechanically evolving strategy games. This introduces the first two episodes in a series of Euro-style dice drafting dice placement strategy games. The saga will ultimately consist of four episodes. Roll Camera, the filmmaking board game, is for one to six players. It takes about 30 to 90 minutes to play. It's a cooperative or solo dice worker placement game of resource management and central geometric puzzle representing your shooting arrangements. The original Sherlock Holmes and his Baker Street Irregulars for 1-4 to four players. It takes about 30-45 to 45 minutes to play. Assemble your crew of Baker Street Irregulars, visit locations, gather witnesses, and inspect artifacts from Conan Doyle's canon to make the key arrest and secure your place as a legitimate rival of Sherlock Holmes. Ascension Tactics Miniatures Deck Building Game from Stoneblade Entertainments for 1-4 to four players. This combines the best of tactical miniatures with a fast-paced strategy of deck building. Many ways to play, battle through the campaign mode, try player versus player, co-op, or solo scenarios. Daily Magic Games launches Shadow Kingdoms of Valeria. Game for 1 to 5 players takes about 30 to 75 minutes to play. You are a warden hungry for the destruction of Valeria. Crazy Like a Box launches Relics of Raja Vihara. This is a game for one player. Takes about 1 to 20 minutes to play. 
slide blocks, avoid obstacles, solve puzzles, collect gems, and defeat your nemesis. On July 8th, Alderac Entertainment Group, AEG, launches Dead Reckoning, a game for 1-4 to four players, takes about 90-150 to 150 minutes to play. This is a game of exploration, piracy, and influence based on a Caribbean-esque setting. This uses the card crafting system that you may be familiar with from Mystic Vale. You'll also be able to customize your ship, control the regions, battle, and uncover the secrets of the sea. These next few launch on July 14th. Yub Nub Games launches Top Tail, Get to Know Your Fellow Humans. Grail Games launches Whale Riders. This is a game for two to six players. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play. Players race to the end of the ice coast and back again, buying and selling as many resources as possible to make the money needed to acquire the richest prizes. Jiangxi, Blood in the Banquet Hall from Wet Ink Games is an RPG of Chinese immigrants running the family restaurant by day and dealing with the hauntings of Jiangxi by night. With a Smile and a Gun is for two players, takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play from Subsurface Games. You are a gang leader trying to fight over the domination of cities underground businesses during a very noir prohibition era. The Shivers is for two to four players, takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play. This features the magic of handcrafted pop-up books combined with just the um, combined with just the right amount of spooky puzzle solving, mystery, and role-playing. Squatchy Games launches Harry's Place. The Sasquatch-owned restaurant serves a unique menu of food to even more unique monsters. It's going to be up to you to make sure they're fed and happy. Smirk and Laughter Games launches The Night Cage, Escape from a Maze that Changes Whenever the Light Vanishes. This is for 1-5 to five players. It takes about 40-60 to 60 minutes to play. This is fully co-op. It's a horror-themed tile placement game. To win, players have to collect a key. All find the gate and escape as a group. Cryptozoic launches Steven Universe Beach a Palooza card battling game for three to six players. It takes about 45 to 60 minutes to play. On July 15th, Games with Teeth launches The Werewolf of Rivers and a lightweight hidden movement tabletop game where a werewolf must survive the night while being hunted by a group of angry townsfolk. Also on July 15th, Crafty Games launches Dollars to Donuts. This is a puzzly tile. This is a puzzly tile laying game with resource management and set collection for two to four players. You're going to take turns purchasing tiles from the specials board and placing them onto their player mats to create delicious spread of donuts. And Simon announced Massive Darkness 2.0. I'm not sure exactly when that is launching, but I will give you more information as I find out. A quick shout out to one of our series sponsors, GameFound. They are a free to use pledge manager. You can learn more about them at GameFound.com. We, Tantrum Mouse, are using them for our late pledges from our campaign, and hopefully we'll be opening that up probably next week. So I'll tell you more about that in our next video. From the list of games that I talked about, Tantrum House will be doing videos. Catapult Kingdoms, Rallyman Dirt, Hopefully Ascension Tactics, we're just waiting to see if we're going to get that copy um, in time. Dead Reckoning, Whale Riders, The Night Cage, and Dollars to Donuts. Quite a few games, quite a lot of games. I would love to hear from you what games you're interested in from this list. Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear uh, what you guys are interested in and talking about and things like that. So, catch you all next time. And also thank you to Meeple Realty, another sponsor for this series. They have some awesome inserts that you can use for your games. Check them out at meeplerealty.com.